Today, I'm going to be talking about why was Martin Luther King Jr. awarded the Nobel Prize. Martin Luther King was born on 15th January 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. Originally named Michael, he was later renamed Martin, like his father, who is a Baptist minister. He joined Morehouse College in 1944, and in his last semester, he did postgraduate work in Boston University. In 1954, he became pastor of Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama, where Rosa Parks was famously arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus. After Parks was arrested, King became a leading figure for organizing the boycott by African Americans of buses in Montgomery. Influenced by Mohandas Gandhi, he advocated nonviolent civil disobedience to racial segregation. The peaceful protests he led were often met with violence, but King and his followers persevered, and their nonviolent movement gained traction. A powerful speaker, he appealed to Christian and American ideals and won growing support from the federal government and northern whites. In 1963, he led his massive march on Washington, in which he delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. In 1964, the civil rights movement achieved two of its greatest successes. The ratification of the 24th Amendment, which abolished the poll tax, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 which prohibited racial discrimination in employment and education and outlawed racial segregation in public facilities. In the late 1960s, King openly criticized U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War and turned his efforts to winning economic rights for poor Americans. King asserted his preeminence within the African-American freedom struggle through his leadership of the Birmingham campaign, says Fabian Carson professor of history at Stanford University and director of the Martin Luther King Jr. Research and Education Institute. In Birmingham, this segregation was being violently resisted by the white population. The city was dubbed Bombingham due to the frequency of attacks on black homes and activists. Imprisoned and held in solitary confinement, after defying an injunction against the protest. Martin Luther King wrote his letter from Birmingham jail. In response to criticism from local white clergymen, he set out his reasons for action in Birmingham and elsewhere. After his release in May, the Children's Crusade was launched. Thousands of school children and students staged marches in Birmingham. Television images of police using batons, dogs, and high-pressured fire hoses against the young protesters sparked global outrage and won public support for King's cause. Success in Birmingham provided further impetus to the movement. This culminated in this massive march on Washington for jobs and freedom on 28 August 1963. More than 200,000 people were in attendance at the Lincoln Memorial when King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, predicting a day when the promise of freedom and equality for all will become a reality in America. Martin Luther King Jr. was in Atlanta Hospital for a complete physical checkup and bed rest after months of exhausting activities in the civil rights movement. He received a call from his wife saying that the NYTV had contacted her to say that it had been announced in Oslo by the Norwegian parliament that Martin Luther King Jr. was the recipient of the Nobel Prize for Peace for 1964. He was stunned and wondered if it was just a dream. He then realized that it was testimony to the magnificent drama of the civil rights movement and the thousands of actors who played their role. He felt it was these noble people who had won this prize. Martin Luther King Jr. receives the Nobel Prize. Today I come to Oslo as a trustee, inspired and with renewed dedication to humanity. I accept this prize on behalf of all men who love peace and brotherhood.
from Martin Luther King Jr.'s acceptance speech. He was the youngest person of 35 years old to have received the Nobel Prize in those days. That same year, 1964, a significant step forward was made with the passage of the Civil Rights Act. The Voting Rights Act followed in 1965, removing many of the barriers which had ensured African Americans could be disenfranchised in some states. All of the prize money, about $54,000, were put into the civil rights movement. On 3rd of April, 1968, he arrived in Memphis, Tennessee to prepare for a march in support of striking sanitation workers. The following day, on 4th of April, 1968, he was shot dead on his hotel balcony by James Earl Ray. Although he confessed, he was tried and proved guilty. The President, Lyndon B. Johnson, called for a national day of mourning. At his funeral, King's old friend, Benjamin Mays, delivered the eulogy. Martin Luther King Jr believed in a united America. He believed that the walls of separation brought on by legal segregation and discrimination based on race and color could be eradicated. As he said in his Washington Monument address, I have a dream. In conclusion, these feats accomplished by Martin Luther King Jr. are the reason that he won as Gonnie John, chairman of the Nobel Committee, rightly put it in his presentation speech. He is the first person in the Western world to have shown us that a struggle can be waged without violence. He is the first to make the message of brotherly love a reality in the course of his struggle. And he has brought this message to all men, to all nations and races. He was a man who never abandoned his faith in the unarmed struggle he is waging, who has su suffered for his faith, who has been imprisoned on many occasions, whose home has been subject to bomb attacks whose life and the lives of his family have been threatened, and who nevertheless has never faltered. He was able to wage a war and win, not with anger and violence, but with compassion and peace, just like his idol, Mahatma Gandhi. Special thanks to the following websites.